So, I'm at an abandoned building. This is off McCall in McAllen. Um, it's on Dove, actually, by the hospital. I think this is um, a lawyer's office, but it's a huge building. There's a lot of rubbish everywhere. Um, abandoned, but I can see that there's a lot of pictures everywhere. So I'm gonna, I haven't got much of a camera, so obviously I'm gonna put this on, on a YouTube channel at some point, but you can see various um, pictures of people. Um, and I know this reminds me of a certain um, page on YouTube that does this type of thing, and they would have loved to have come here, but it is abandoned. Now imagine the energies running through this type of place. I'm a medium and I do sense there's a lot of energy, but it's absolutely abandoned. You, I kind of get the idea that it is a lawyer's office because there we are, an attorney's um, in recognition of accomplishment 1983, attorney at law, um, Jose Eduardo Garcia. Smashed glass there, an old door. And the archway is outside, you can see that growth coming through over the windows. A book, Golf by Design. Let's see what we've got here. It's obviously, this is by a man called Joe Garcia. There's a book called Men Who Hate Women, The Women Who Love Them. There's pictures here. Various different things. I'm going to go and leave this room. It's obvious this was an office. You've got something on the walk, like face. And you can see the old kitchen area. I'm going to make my way through. There's a lot of damage. I'm not scared, but I'm kind of apprehensive about what I'm going to find. But the energies are absolutely dire. But I'm here. And there's really not much to find. Old cabinets, the roof is caved in there. There's Texas code book and rules here. You might, and this is obviously a lawyer's office. And I'm gonna find probably certain other things here in the office area, such as books and stuff like that. So I'll start just picking up a few things. Texas Code and Rules Civil Litigation. And there's another one, so 1997 to 98, Civil Litigation as well. So there's obviously plans and stuff like that. A beautiful arched window here, but with a smashed, the smashed glass gone through. And the same here. Obviously, this is devastating to see this. I think over the years it just fell apart, really. The nice, beautiful glass window there. The doorway to the front main road. Stone cobbled floors. And here we are. This, you can see the beautiful woodwork and shelving here. There's an awful lot of papers here. It looked like it could have been also a doctor's office. Various law books just left there, just not even touched. Amazing amounts of law books, just not even touched, look, in this building. Outside looking out there. What amazes me is all those law books just, some are on the floor, but they've not been touched. You've got attorney textbook of medicine. You've got form of discovery. I'm actually going to put this on my channel, um, Mediumship Development, because it's going to connect with what I would do if I was here. I feel like there's um, some energies here, but they're oppressed energies. Um, up there, Texas Digest from numbers one all the way to numbers 33, not touched. This is a beautiful textbooks of 
resources that the lawyer and med would use through medicine. That is just amazing. Another look at that. Amazing. Let me come through here and see what I might find here. There's nothing much here. Oh, it links to outside now. The building links to outside where it would link to the field. The doors are open. That door looks very uninviting at what I've just walked out of. I'm gonna come back in through this way now. And what will I find? Nothing much, just a garage and different things. Does this door open? It does. We're leading back out to outside. There's papers literally everywhere. Maybe perhaps these are lawyers' papers. I'm gonna look. Yes, it says we, the jury, have found the defendant. Uh, that's the foreman of the jury. Old text and the way they would deal with law back then. Charge an indictment. So there's a lot of open papers here for people to see. I'm going to come back in so we can just hope we don't not catch something we don't, haven't missed, you know what I mean? Um, this is a beautiful lawyer's desk at probably the reception at the time when they walked in. This must have been something to do with um, medicine because it talks, it's got a tape there with the shingles. It's also got the brain, cervical spine injuries. So I think this was a lawyer's office connected to medicine, um, um, like a, it was sort of, you would have in like um, a case done in court um, through an injury or, an, or and, and you'd have the lawyer's office connected to that to represent you. Another main desk, a shelf. There's not really much here. We're looking straight up through the ceiling here. A lot of bad damage, indeed. I decided, though, for momentum, I'm going to take a book from the other, not from this area, but I'm going to take the Texas code book on the, on the ground. There is a lot here that really is just amazing. What's these books called? Alabama, Alaska, Arizona laws, California, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming, Puerto Rico and U.S. territories, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Florida, areas of practice index, administrative law, zoning law, Louisiana, uh, New York, Illinois, uh, North Carolina, North America and there is Europe, Asia, Australia, Middle East and Africa. All books of law. Modern federal jury instructions. It is amazing that this has all been left here. But I personally feel like it should be put into a library. All of that. Or placed somewhere nicely in the area. What else might I find? I don't think there's anything else in some of the rooms, but I will go back to the main room. I'm absolutely astounded that I found this off the side of the road, but it is like an old lawyer's office. Carpet from the 1970s, I can feel how squidgy it is. Plaques, basically. Let's see what they say. Rio Grande Valley. McAllen Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. That's a member since. And that says... Oh, I'm not kind of sure what it says, actually. It's just been moulded. It's moulded over. There's plans here built for business. I think it was like an old hospital, or should I say. Parts of the window broken. Must have been... Vandals. I, I can't understand why people just don't leave things alone. You know, they just let things be. But it, this is the way it is. There might have been people, we call them in England, dossing. Um, they doss and they stay in here. 
squatting a lot of glass all on the floor there's pictures everywhere literally I kind of there's the kitchen area obviously that's where they would use certain um, things just for lunch or something like that this is obviously the main office to the lawyer I'm gonna come back in here let's see what we might find when it comes to paperwork there's a lot of photographs there's also a table at like a plaque that talks of patriotic party valley join joins in inaugural fanfare clinton's job fun then inspiration washington today bill clinton's job is to inspire the nation so on sunday he read poetry studied great speeches uh, and went to church twice but even clinton could only think great thoughts for so long this is, after all, a party. He closed the day at a star-studded gala featuring Kenny G. Aretha Franklin and the tap-dancing cast of the Broadway hit Bring In The Noise, Bring In The Funk. Tomorrow, we will not just celebrate our democracy, we must renew it, Clinton told celebrants who had paid up to $3,000 in cash to attend the presidential inaugural gala. And let's see what the date is. I don't think I can see it. The date isn't marked, but it's got Washington there. It's kind of got Joe Garcia, the lawyer's print there. So I'm saying, probably thinking it's in the 90s, this story of Clinton and the party and the politics that is involved in this place. There's a picture of someone with a ba with a Raggedy Ann doll. Isn't that weird? I'm going to take it because the Raggedy Ann is a bit weird. That came out, isn't it? Seeing as there is a um, story connected to Ed and Lorraine Warren and the Raggedy Ann. Um, there's a book there, Chicken Soup for the Soul at Work. Some of the things should be just be left, but I took the photograph because there's even Joe Garcia, Hildago County Democratic Chair. So he basically must have been up for election. Um, this probably is his old office or something happened to him. I'm not really kind of sure what happened, but there is a lot of junk here and there's also a lot of history of his journey as a lawyer basically um but they can imagine the energies that might be running through here is it just an abandoned building why am i connecting this to the mediumship development program because if we are mediums there are going to be times where we're going to go to a particular place be asked to go to a particular environment and be the medium to do the, whatever we have to do there's a lovely and lovely parrot there on the window. It's stained glass. And we're going to be able to demonstrate mediumship here. What would I demonstrate with mediumship here? Well, kind of not a lot really, other than just the fact the energies have been disturbed by people. There are major weird photograph like graffiti on the walls like spirits they look like something whatever it is people are very weird in their religions and their belief systems they kind of came here and i feel like there must have been about a, a, a an actual ritual here in the building by squatters people do strange things in the area but i i know that i, got, I can't get caught because across the building is a medical center an actual medical centre. We're going to know Wingate Inn. Guest information guide. I think it could have been a hotel at some point as well. But I'm going to keep looking around. There's a shower. Which it smells pretty bad. And there's a lot of mould. 
I'm loving the history when it comes to this lawyer's office. When I went back down to the that shelf and saw a whole collection of untouched lawyer books and resources on the shelf, it was unbelievable. This is a lot of stuff that just kind of just been left. Um, the the power of positive thinking. Even a picture of I'm not sure who it is, but he looks like a preacher. But if you know who that picture is, please do let me know. The power of positive thinking. Mastering the lessons of experience. It's one of those types of places where you kind of feel sadness because it was so successful at one point. A child there, somebody's child. But yeah, if you are demonstrating the mediumship, this is one part that I'd like to start our mediumship development program YouTube and nothing better to start it at a place where it truly is remarkably just some of it's intact, but a lot of it's a mess. Photos literally everywhere. But we do our best to pick up spirit. But what I feel here is there is... May, um, probably, most definitely, members of staff that's passed and they're returning, or negative energy has collected inside this building because of the energy that it's left, the residual. I'm seeing money problems with this business, so it suggests that it's partly fed by negative energy. Um, never cleaned up the building, just left the glory of the Lord shone around them. That is the one passage that comes out on a piece of paper um let's see uh, there's a picture of jesus in the manger or the three shepherds sorry so there is some sort of kids play area should i say i'm not kind of sure what this place is really a mixture of medical a mixture of lawyers um, like law and a mixture of kids area so it could have been a home at some point as well I'm not kind of keen on that room. But there we have it. A place somewhere in McAllen that just was abandoned into nothing. Again, an empty room. I'm going to take one more journey back to those lawyers' books of law to see if there's anything else. Obviously, this is a an old dishwasher, probably from the 1980s. Pot scrubber 20, 720, it's called. Another room inside. Strange drawings, basically. Why am I hiding, it says. Another shower area, untouched. Weird inscriptions, the tiles old from many years ago. This is just an abandoned trash building, but there's history and a life was here. Someone's legacy and story was here. And that's what's very, very much I have to come in and be respectful to that because it cannot be a place that's disrespected even if it's been trashed. I come in and I look for evidence of life and what evidence that there is law. Wilson Jones, Cook and Cost Division. It is um, my story in my life to be going out there to find out these types of things there's it's kind of getting a bit boring for me now because there's not really much there but i am going to wrap it up soon by just <clears throat> telling you that we must never assume that life 
is going to be there with us every day. We have to embrace it, cherish it, not take it for granted, be a strength for other people, but live life being appreciated each day as it comes. So really there's nothing much else. I kind of think they, there's an old fireplace there actually. You can see. It's a shame really that this happened, but <clears throat> this is a good example for the mediumship development program. Anybody linking, give me a comment on what you feel with this place. Give me your thoughts, give me your comments, anything spiritual, especially these books. You know, the Texas Giant Digest West, the old attorney's books that just have been left here. Constantly left here, nothing happening to them. So I'm gonna leave it at that, I'm gonna turn the camera around so many blessings guys this is an abandoned building i'm gonna just take myself out of the building to um get the what it looks like on the outside so there we are a lot of graffiti it's kind of that's what it is the an old abandoned building so many thanks and please like and subscribe um, if you are interested in the MDP development program. This will go as, an, um, as a special video on the channel for examples of if we were going to do mediumship we would pick up something as in energy. And I feel like there is old energies here but not good energies because if it was then the office would still be continuing forward with success. So many thanks and many blessings and I look forward to another amazing video that might come up like this in the future.